Hey everybody and welcome to Bits of Board, where we're talking board games, miniatures, cards and dice. My name's Michael and today we are unboxing this wine here. This is Massive Darkness and as you can see this game, this box is huge. Now there's a bunch of expansions in here. I can't quite remember just how many I got but we are going to be unboxing every single one of them. This video is just going to be the, uh, the base game. Once this one's done we're going to have a look at all the other expansions and bonus stuff. Uh, it's going to be an absolute rush. Shout out to Gradial on the Kickstarter page who cannot wait to see the contents of the game. Um, without further ado, let's get stuck in. Alright, let's do this guys. Beautiful artwork, we'll get a closer look at that in a sec, but for the moment, let's get this plastic off. Alright, there it is. Let's have a nice close look at that. Here we go, let's open this one up and see what we've got in there. Oh, so it's almost vacuum sealed. All right, we're in for a standard cool mini or not treat. All right, we've got the rule book, pretty standard stuff in there. We've got a bunch of tokens here. Now these uh, I will probably be replacing because I got the plastic upgrade kit for this stuff. Um, so yeah, goodies there, but there's going to be batteries later. This is this is more what I want to see, so we're going to have a look at that very shortly. All right, so we got some map tiles here. So all of these are double-sided, and it looks like they're going to have that nice blue and sort of uh, creamy wash to it, a little bit of uh, red there to spice it up. But yeah, there's a fair bit of detail going on in here, but it looks like they're very, they've kept very much to that color code. So. While these might look a bit samey, I promise you, the devil is in the details with these ones. Wow. Actually, check that out. That's pretty cool. Got a little pit over here, some treasure chests. Very nice. Got some runes over here. They've put a lot of detail into these. That's great. Oh, wow. Something's died there. Yikes. Yeah, very, very cool. Very cool. All right. So there are our map tiles. What else we got? These would be our player pads, and I believe each one of these... So these are pads that can have information uh, written on and stored, so you can write your hero's name if you're going to be using them for longer sessions, uh, maybe campaigns sort of thing, but there seems to be a book for each of the classes in there, which is kind of cool. Now we've got some cards. Uh, and by some cards, I mean we've got a lot of cards. It looks like we've got some weapon decks down here. And in here, I'm sure we'll see some monsters and some heroes. Very cool. We've got some custom dice with the usual swords and uh, shields. Very brightly colored. Very nice to see. Um, and that kind of leads us to the miniatures. So I'm very excited to see these because cool mini or not, always do amazing minis. So, um, yeah, let's check these out, I guess. So it's going to be plenty because, <laughs> oh, wow. Um, it's going to be a little bit more than plenty. Look at that. So there are an absolute ton of minis going on here. They've packed them in so tightly. Um, two, three folds worth. We've got some big ones up the top there. We're definitely going to be having a closer look at all of these as we go, but I'll just run you through what else we got. Over here we have our character boards, and we use these to store, uh, to keep track of what our characters are doing. So we've got some armor spots here, we've got what we're holding in our hands, we've got our character sheet and some different uh, XP trackers and all that sort of stuff. Very nice. We've got the usual base clips and uh, stat clips for all that. And yeah, that's really it guys. It's on to the minis. I cannot wait to get in close to show you what all these amazing guys look like. Uh, let's get started.
right guys, there it is, a massive unboxing for Massive Darkness. So many miniatures, so many unique sculpts amongst it all. And they are classic looking sculpts as well. Really bringing back some of that old school D&D uh, &D Warhammer Quest sort of feelings there. I mean, those dwarves, they look like old school Warhammer Chaos Dwarves. Really, they honestly look the part. So we saw a bunch of different mobs there. We had the, the dwarves, the goblins, the orcs. We had their sort of commanders, their little generals throughout. And then we have these insane boss monsters, giant spiders, Diablo looking demons there. It's all here. Uh, so we're going to have a look at all the other expansions that I got through. We're going to be opening up some versus boxes which contain some heroes and wandering monsters, a couple of new factions that are just going to increase that encounter variability in the game, and there's also the elementals box as well. All of these are coming up soon, guys. I hope you've enjoyed checking out the contents of this box. Uh, I'm going to get to playing this one right now, so excuse me, but uh, that's about it for today. <laughs> as per usual, guys, if you've got any questions or anything like that, Chuck them down in the comments below, say good day. Um, but yeah, we're about done. So as always, my name's Michael. This is Bits of Board. We'll catch you next time.